Let's just be real. You ain't got no cash. You ain't got no dollar. It's stay with that drama. Let's just be real. Hey guys, so, um, so you guys are tired, I know, of me recording hair review videos. So I figured I'd do something different today and um, basically talk about things that bother me, things that I like, whatever people ask me to talk about or whatever. So today's topic is five points of loyalty. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, um, so this can apply to like, I guess like boyfriend, girlfriend, booze, babe, whatever the hell y'all call it now or um just like friendships but this is like in general towards like friendships right so the first point of my five points of loyalty is don't tell me about when your friends talk about me tell me about how you shut them up and make them feel stupid right so one problem that i have like that um i've been like listening to what people say and stuff is like whenever they you know have a casual conversation and they're like Oh, guess what this chick said about you? Stop. Wait a minute. Why do you feel so comfortable telling me about what she said about me? First of all, you need to start the conversation about guess what I had to tell this chick um, because she decided to say such and such about you. Like, that's how the conversation start. Not, oh my God, guess what she said about you? She was talking about your hair review videos or whatever. Like, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear you say, oh, I had to let her know that you're not home all day <laughs> recording hair review videos. Like, tell me that. Don't start off with some drama. I don't want to hear about that. Um, if, if somebody feels so comfortable to sit there and listen to anyone talk shit about you, it's because they got something negative to say about you too because that's a part of their conversation. If if somebody's gonna say something negative about you, it's their, you know, having shots conversation, ladies night conversation. You just happen to be the main topic. Oh, guess what Samantha did today? Oh, really? I knew she did that too. Like that's how that conversation is going. If they have the nerve to tell you, guess what this person said about you? That's how I feel about that. If if you my real friend and you loyal, don't sit there and tell me about what somebody said about me. So, second point is, if you need an ear to vent to, right? I'm here. When I need an ear to vent to, don't go MIA. My biggest problem is like, when I hear about somebody calling their friend just to complain about stuff, but they don't necessarily want to hear what you have to say. So Monday, you're going to call me to tell me about some new drama that happened in your life. And Tuesday, I'm going to be down and out and I'm going to be stuck crying about some stupid ass shit. But I'm going to need my friend to be there to hear it. And when I call, you either don't answer, don't text back, or you're busy or doing something. Like, I don't want to hear that. Um, if you're loyal to me and you're my friend like you say you are, then be there when I need you. Because if you're not, then I can just go find somebody else to be there for me, right? Um, so... My third point is, don't lie to me, especially when you know the truth. Like, don't you hate when, when you already know the truth about something? Like, you got proof in your face, and you be like, so, how did this, you know, how was your day with such and such? And they lie to your face like, oh, I didn't even hang out with them today. Bitch, I got it in my face. Like, it says you were with this person at this time. Like, don't lie to me. If you got another friend, fine. When I'm very selfish with my best friends. If you my best friend, you my best friend, that's it. You don't go and tell me and lie to my face that you wasn't with the next person. Like, I can see it on Facebook. I can I can check your messages and see that your location was at that bitch house. Like, hello. Like, turn off your little fucking location next time so I can't see that shit. I hate that. Don't lie to my face, especially when you know I know the truth. I if somebody asks you a question, just know they know. They're not gonna ask you a question just to hear it for their fucking pleasure. They know what's going on. So it's better to be honest than to lie to their face. Like, that's stupid. Be loyal, be real, like, what the hell? So, my next point, if I could get this, I'm not an iPhone person, miss. <laughs> I'm an Android girl, so I gotta mess with this iPhone, anywho. Point four of my five points of loyalty is don't be fake, right? Now, this is the problem that I have with a lot of girls, right? Here we go. A real friend will tell you when you got a piece of broccoli in your teeth, right? A real shit in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. 
A real friend will tell you when your eyebrows not on fleek. Your shit's not on fleek, son. <laughs> a real friend will tell you when your track is hanging out. Like, yo. Yeah, it's just string. <laughs> Right? Pull me to the side and be like, yo, Samantha, you got a booger in your nose. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> okay, that's Don't fucking laugh in my face and have me walking around looking all r ridiculous. <laughs> that's mad fake. Like, don't laugh in my face and then go to your friend like, oh my God, Samantha had a booger in her nose all day. Bitch, why you didn't tell me? You my friend. You su you're supposed to be loyal to me. Tell me when I don't look good. I gained 10 pounds? Tell me. I'm about to go lose that shit at the gym. Don't go and tell me, oh my god, you look so sexy in that outfit. And then go to your friend and be like, oh my gosh, you got a kangaroo pouch. That don't make no sense. Be real. Be Don't be fake. Like, And then another thing about being fake is like, this is how you know when somebody's stupid fake. And you don't want to tell them that they fake because you don't want to hurt their feelings. So you kind of say it in a subtle way. Like, no, you're not fake, but... Maybe you shouldn't say it this way. Trying to be nice? No. Stop doing that nice shit and to let them know when they're being fake. Because you can tell with somebody being fake when they got the nerve to tell you about their friend. Like, okay, but you were just hanging out with them the other day. Why you? And that's supposed to be your best friend too. So why are you telling me about stuff she's doing? I don't want to know that. I want to know the next dick she's sucking. No. That's your best friend. That's fake. Don't be fake. <sighs> Anywho. Um, then the last point is check up on me enough. And I will do the same. I put into the relationship whatever you put in. This can go towards like boyfriend, girlfriend, friend relationship. I'm not going to call family. you family, like whatever. <laughs> Stupid. I'm not going to call you if you don't call me. But then I'm the kind of person that if you call me, I'm a, I'm a, it's like a trial and error for me. Okay, you call me on Monday. I'm not going to call you on Tuesday. I'm going to see if you're going to call me on Wednesday. Because I want to see if you're thinking about me as much as I'm thinking about you. I'm very loyal to my friends. So I'm always going to care about you no matter what. If I don't call you and stuff like that, just know that I'm trying to see if you're going to call me first. It sucks that this is how females think, but just know this is how I think. If you don't call me... I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to think that you busy, you occupied with your time, you doing other things. Okay, fine. But when you don't call me for a month, that's not loyal. When you don't call me for a week and then you decide to call me to tell me about some drama and you don't ask me about how I'm doing, that's not loyal. I hate that shit. <laughs> like, I hate that. So, when you call me, call me Monday, call me Tuesday, call me Wednesday. Hey, what you doing? Let's hang out. Let's go to the park. You know, let's have a drink real quick. Oh, let's watch some movies. If I see you doing that and it's consistent, best to believe I'm going to be on your ass and call you every other day like, what you doing? And just to bug you and annoy you. Because that's the kind of person that I am. I'm going to text you like, hey, boo. What's up, babe? How you doing? Because that's the kind of person that I am. But if I see that you're not texting me, you're not calling me, obviously it's because you're not loyal, you're not my real friend, and because you got your time preoccupied with something else. It don't matter how busy a person is in this entire world. If you're thinking about somebody, you're going to text them at least once a week. If it's not once a week, it'll be like once every other week, right? And it'll be a long-ass conversation. It won't be no 15-minute conversation. It'll be a conversation that lasts two, three hours because y'all catching up. That's how you know that somebody's thinking about you. That's how you know that your friend is loyal, right? That's how you know, real quick, because you know, this ain't to nobody specific. <clears throat> but let me sit my seat. But you know, I'm in my kid's room because that's how I do things. Um, anyways, so this was my first um, rant video, my five points of loyalty. If you guys like it, click like, share, subscribe, do what you do, comment below. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. I'm home, nothing to do. So, yeah, pretty much. And this was my, um, my side comment, lady. <laughs> so, bye. Um, the song you heard in the beginning was Def Loaf. Whatever, Bread of Loaf, I don't know her name. Let's be honest, but that's my song, and that's going to be the song that I play in the beginning of my videos, because that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be real, I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to talk about a lot of things that bother me or that I like. So, um, bye, and talk to you guys later.